Now, this is on the web, um, but Church Center can be accessed through the web, of course, just like this, but also through the Church Center app. And that's probably where a lot of the people in your church are going to be interacting with this is um, from the app. So let's take a look and see uh, what it looks like on there. So I'm going to pull up my phone and we've got, uh, I've got Church Center pulled up here and I am logged in as, uh, as um, Brandon Young, just as an example here to see what this would look like for somebody who's checking things out. Now I'm on just the homepage of the Church Center app for our Centerville Church and I'm gonna go down at the bottom to the signups tab and that's where we have all of these events and signups. And this is just the same stuff that we saw over on the web, but just in the mobile app form. And we can scroll through here and uh, see all the things that are going on at this Centerville Church. Now, like I said, there are all kinds of different events that you can have, all sorts of different signups and things that are needed for that. And so I wanna show you um, a few different ones on here so that we can see what the signup experience is actually like and how that can be different for different kinds of events. So the first one that I wanna look at is um, this baptism one, get baptized. So let's click on that and let's see. This is a little bit unique because this is actually not like a, a specific um, event. You'll notice there's no um, date or time on here. Um, one of the things you can do is just to have kind of these standing things, these ongoing um, signups as, as part of what's going on here. And that's what this is. Um, it's just uh, available for people when they um, are interested in getting baptized, they can come here and register for this. And that lets the church know that they wanna be a part of that. They can go through their process at that point and they can you know, then decide when's the right time for that person to be baptized or put something on the calendar. Um, but this is just always available so anyone can register and show that that's something that they're interested in. Let's go back to the list here. And there's kind of a lot of events that we can see right at the moment. And so we've got um, some uh, filters that are gonna help us uh, more easily, more quickly find what we're looking for. Um, and these are things that you can customize completely based on your church and what makes the most sense and how to help people find stuff. But up at the very top, we've got a couple drop downs. Um, for this church, we've got some different campuses. And so I'm gonna pick um, just the Vista campus. So that'll narrow down the things we're looking at. Um, you can also set just any other categories. I'll show you that drop down. Um, and you can do that however makes sense for your church. But the one that I wanna look at right now is this one at the very top, this church picnic. And so you can see already this has some more going on. We've got an actual date and time. This is the, when this is happening. We've got a map that shows us um, where this picnic is gonna be, the details there. And so let's go ahead and register and see what this actually looks like. And so here it comes up and I am, like I said, logged in as Brandon Young. And uh, so different events need different amounts of information. For some, you're really gonna need a lot of specific and detailed information about the people who are showing up. But for others, you really don't need that. You just need to know maybe even just how many people are gonna show up. So that's how we've set this one up for the church picnic. All we care about is just the number of people who are gonna be there. And so it's really simple for Brandon to just go in. He's got um, uh, him and his wife, two adults, and then their two kids. And he just has to, um, to put those numbers in there and then next. And then it always shows you this review to just make sure that that looks correct, pretty simple. We'll go ahead and register. And just like that, within you know, 15, 30 seconds, Brandon is registered for the church picnic. He's signed up and ready to go and the church has all the information they need um, to know that Brandon and his family are gonna be there. So let's go ahead and close that and we'll go back to the list of signups. Let's check out one more that needs a little bit more information just to see what that's all about. So let's try this community cleanup. Again, we can see the dates, the times, the details. One of the things that I want you to see here at the bottom is the selections. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of different jobs that are gonna be happening at this community cleanup. So that's something we're gonna have the opportunity to um, select as we go through and do this. So let's register. And let's see, as this comes up here, um, one of the things that I wanna point out is 
the little blue timer that's going in the top right. Um, for, for this example, this is probably not something we'd have to worry about, but all that shows is that as I'm going through and uh, signing up here for this event, that my spot is, is being held. If you've got something where you've got a specific capacity and you're maybe getting close to the capacity, you could have you know, different people who are trying to sign up and, and you know, it's kind of just a race to see who, who can finish it first. And you may have someone who starts, but then somebody comes in and all of a sudden that spot's not available anymore. We wanna make sure that that's not happening to anybody. So we've added this timer to make sure once you start your registration, you've got an amount of time and your spot is being held while you go through and do this. It's not gonna get swooped out from under you or something like that. Um, so that's what ha is happening with the timer. Now we get to, um, like I said, we got these jobs that we need to pick from um, and, and select what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have uh, two from the family on the paint crew and two on the fence building crew. And so we'll start there, hit next. And now the church wants to know uh, which actual people are gonna be there so that they can do some prep ahead of time so they can contact them, uh, make sure everyone has the stuff that they need um, so that everyone's ready to go uh, for, uh, for the cleanup day. So we'll say who we want to be. So let's see, Nicole and uh, their daughter Rosalie are gonna be doing that. And then Brandon and uh, their son Isaiah are gonna be doing the fence building. And next. Now here we've got um, an add-on, which is, you can use for all kinds of ways, but an extra bonus um, thing outside of just the normal uh, registration. Um, gives you an opportunity if you want to get a t-shirt. And so we'll do that for all of them. And um, you can customize which version of this that you want, in this case, which size that you want. So we'll go through and pick a size for each of, of uh, the people here. Make sure everyone gets uh, the right um, the right option for them. And we'll go ahead and click next. And now again, just a review, make sure everything's looking correct, looks good. So we'll go ahead and register. And now all the information um, is in there. Brandon and his family are registered and signed up for the community cleanup. The church now knows that they're gonna be there. They can contact them and help everybody be ready to go um, for the day of the event. So we'll close out of that. So that is what it looks like to sign up um, for some different kinds of events and signups on Church Center.